what we're going to be doing this morning i'm just going to put some airbag man standard high pressure airbags in the back of the old 200 give it a bit more support towing those little caravans around so it is a maximum safety exercise today so i'll be showing you a couple of those things so we've got a couple of bags a bit of line a few attachments this is the difference between high pressure and normal pressure tools we'll be needing got an old jack here just had a refurb so should be up to the task a couple of jack stands that'll be good breaker bar just make things easier you want this pretty high off the ground because what we're going to do is maneuver that diff around pushing up on one side lowering it on the other side so you can get the, the springs out so when i take these wheels off in a minute i'm going to put them under the car nothing worse than one of these things failing dropping down and you're underneath it it's not what we want to see happening So I've got the wheels off, including the spare wheel under there, just to make sure we've got plenty of room to run the air lines. Again, just make sure you put these wheels somewhere under the car. Nothing, uh, you can't take too many safety precautions, right? Anything you can do to prevent an accident, that's what you should be doing. Okay, we'll have a look at these springs now. Might need to just take this brake cable off up here. Take off the bottom bolt and the suspension, and we're pretty much right to go. Let's see what happens. But the sway bar disconnected there so it'll drop down also the shock absorber off the back fairly good condition these shock absorbers even though they're originals and they've done 280,000 kilometers lots of power in those still okay we'll drop this diff down now and see if we can get the spring out got the spring out now have a look at this she's out of in there very easy really this diff drops right down to the ground pretty much so there's our spring standard Toyota issue that bits the top now with the 200 series this rubber comb stopper we've got to cut her off right in here so we're going to get the hacksaw for that then we're going to drill a hole in here so when you're cutting out this hole yeah a hole saw is a good idea yeah around about 30 35 mil something like that just have a look in here just want to make sure that you take the burr off off the edge of that plastic so that the air hose doesn't get caught up there yeah same with the rubber you can usually hacksaw this off Give it a little grind back, no problem. Now, I'm gonna show you how to put this airbag in this sleeve, this high pressure sleeve. There is an easy way, so let's see if we can do that. Yeah, just flatten that down like that. And hold it. Just pull it on through. There we go. No real dramas. Just gotta make sure these end bits here. Just 
get them out sitting on the top nicely. Yep, and there we go. Installed bottom, top. That's good. Just remembering here that this part with the flange sits like that on the top of the airbag. Yeah, it's just loose, but you know that's what it is. So it must just sit there and be stable and comfortable. That's it. Let's get this in the spring and back in the car. I know. Just make sure that airbag is positioned <coughs> in the center of the high pressure bag. Yeah. Just before we put that spring back in, we'll have a look up here. Yeah. You can see where it fits and where the air hose goes through. So that's all fine. We're going to pull that through once we connect the end of it to the top of the airbag. This whole thing has got to go through there. So, got it through there. Yep. Through the next one. Remembering that's got to be facing down. Yep. Now, when we come to put it in here, I'm going to have one smooth nice motion so again that's nice and square and flat so we want that to go all the way down in there clicks in yeah it doesn't click in but it's nice and nice and strong all that way down to the end right. make sure that's all nice in there yeah good job on the top basically just fits there be good if they had a little screw on device or something but anyway we want that protection stuff to be right down the bottom good let's chuck this back on the top and we're going to try and put this coil back in Back in. Position that nicely. That spring's not in the right place, so let's turn that around. Okay. Is in the right place, mate? Check the cable up there. Make sure you got enough play. So when the suspension goes up and down, there's not any pressure on this air cable. When these blow up, they blow up this way and that way. Yep. This will sit in here nice. And we'll check that anyway again before we put any air in there. Just make sure you spread out this bag as best as you can. It's quite a tight fit in there, so it tends to overlap in different places. Can't really do much about that. Just gotta do the best job you can. So again, as we're doing this, just make sure we pull this tube through. We don't want anything getting stuck up the top there as we're doing it. Yeah. Around. 
leave enough cable in the top there so it's feeling nice and loose and flexible. There we go. Seated in place. Just make sure that top one is in place properly. Yeah. Again, we'll have a look at these airbags. Once we get the wheels back on, they get back down to the right height. Then we'll adjust these, make sure they're in the center of the spring there. Looking pretty good, I reckon. Yep. It's gonna run these airlines and uh, we'll be done. Okay, we've got it all mounted up. All airlines connected. I was thinking about playing around here with some different type of brackets and whatnot, but at the end of the day, there's the perfect spot here on the bumper bar. Plus, it's not really, you know, if you're gonna bash anything, you're gonna bash this first before you bash these, so they're nice and sturdy. So we'll get the wheels back on. Look pretty good. Nice and snug in there. So, the minimum PSI you should have in if you're not using them is around about five, five to 10. So I'll let it back down to that, go for a little test drive. Checks out fine. Pumped up the airbags, put them down a couple of times. Seems to be okay. I'm just keeping five, eight PSI in them at the moment. So I'm not really using them. What we really put them on for was to attach some caravans, that kind of thing. So, or something like that. So yeah, looking forward to using them.